Hey, what is up guys? MFK Clicks here and welcome back. What I got for you guys today is a review of the Pro Edition mod from Evil Controllers. This is not a rapid fire. It is very similar to the Scuff Controllers. It's got buttons on the back you guys can remap your controls to. They were kind enough to send me one out to review here on my channel, give you guys my thoughts, what I like about it, what I don't like, and what I recommend it to you guys. My answer to that question is absolutely. They are quality controllers at a rather affordable price. These guys do not use generics in any way. They are actual name brand Xbox One and PlayStation controllers. So if you're worried about getting a cheap controller that's going to break easily, that is not the case. These guys will take care of you and deliver you a quality product. And as I said, it's rather affordable. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the price for the two different variants of controllers they have, my overall experiences with the controller and why I like it, and what my complaints are. Complaints wise, I only have one. This is a personal thing. And it's something that isn't going to affect everybody. So without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and get straight into this. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the price for two pro buttons. And it's going to cost you one hundred and twenty dollars for four pro buttons. It is going to cost you one hundred and fifty. If you guys just want the buttons, you don't want a flashy looking controller or anything. You can select just a stock Xbox One or PlayStation 4 controller. It'll look just like the one you would get with your console or you could go to the store and buy. If you guys want something a bit more visually impressive and unique, you can go through and select one of the shell options that they have. I got the blue fire. I love the color. I love the look, but they do have some other cool ones available in their store. My second favorite was the sticker bomb, which I was contemplating getting, but I chose this one in the end. As I said, you guys can go through, check them out, pick out which ones you want. All of their store link down in the description below. Now, why do I like this controller and why would I recommend it to my subscribers? Well, if I was looking to buy a custom controller, I would want to know how easy is it to use? Do I need any certain type of tools to make adjustments or whatever? And do I need any existing knowledge to know how to use this controller effectively? With the Evil Controllers Pro Mod, you can learn how to use it in 10 seconds and be straight back to your games. It's super easy to use. You can pick the controller up, remap your controls in less than five seconds and go straight back to doing whatever you're doing. There's no need to open up external apps to mess with the controller. You don't need any certain type of tool to adjust it. Just a few button presses and you're back onto your game. If you're on the PlayStation 4 and you want to remap your controls, just tap the share button and the pro button at the same time. Tap the button you want to remap and that's it. It'll take you five seconds to do it and even quicker once you guys get it down. And the buttons themselves are super responsive. They're not intrusive in any way. They're not hard to keep track of with your fingertips. They feel like they're a natural part of the controller and incredibly easy to get the hang of. So for those of you wondering, like, are they in the way? Are they hard to keep track of? You know, how different is it from a standard controller? Honestly, I can't even tell the difference except I'm tapping my fingers on the bottom of my controller. When I first got it, I actually got it to play Black Ops 3 with. It's a first person shooter. That's normally all I'd use this type of controller for. But I actually started playing a game last week and I didn't intend on using this controller, but my other controller was dead. So I used this one and I've been using it on that game ever since I played the Dark Souls games. I mapped my health and items to the buttons on the back and it has saved my life countless times. I don't have to move my fingers off the controls towards the D pad in any way. I just hotkey them to the buttons on the back. So it's just like you're using a regular controller. There is no learning curve. Literally anybody can pick this up and use it. Now, what is my complaint? As I said, it's something personal. This isn't going to affect everybody unless you're like me. I have the four buttons. There's two on each side and I have larger hands with larger hands. And when I'm hitting the buttons on the back, I feel like they're a little too close together. My fingers are bumping up against each other. I understand there's limited room. There might be some other technical limitations. They have to put them that close, but I just felt like they were too close. And that's just because I have bigger hands. Those of you with smaller hands, you're obviously not going to be able to tell, but that was my only complaint with the controller. Overall, I would give them a 10 out of 10. They have great customer support. The guy that I kept in contact with about the controller is incredibly understanding and incredibly responsive to my emails. So their support is on point. You guys are getting a quality controller at an affordable price. So would I recommend it to you guys? Absolutely. So if you want to check them out, I'll have a link down in the description below. Go check out their store. And if you guys pick something up, tweet me on Twitter at MFKXClicks. Show me a picture of what you got. I'll retweet it and show everybody else. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're wanting a solid controller, go check out Evil Controllers. 
But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys later.